Welcome to Seaside Aviation. Today we're going to be talking about steep turns and specifically we'll talk about steep turns in the Proline 21 series. So any type of CJ, CJ3, CJ4, this tutorial will give you uh, an upper advantage on completing your steep turns during sim training and for your check ride. To set up for steep turns, we want to be in cruise level flight. We want to be flying about 200 knots and roughly it's about 67% and one. And once you have the autopilot on and you've centered your heading bug and you say you're on a heading of about 360, fine tune your thrust, zero out your speed vector, and so you're flying at 200 knots, no trend, no change, everything is completely stable. You want to make sure that your heading indicator is in the type of format you like. I specifically like to be in rows mode so I can see my full compass rows. That way I can see north, south, east, and west. It makes it easier in my peripheral scan. Another preference is for the flight director. Um, some guys like it on, some like it off. Personally, I like to take it off. I find it distracting. So once everything's stabilized, before we go into the steep turn, we're gonna have to add a little bit of thrust, about 2%. So if we start at 67% M1, we're just slowly gonna walk the throttles up and we're gonna set 70% M1. And as we do that, our speed is gonna slowly start to increase. We'll see a trend vector on our airspeed slowly increase. And remember that trend vector that magenta trend vector, that's always showing us six seconds in the future what our airspeed's gonna be. So we have some time. If the speed creeps up, that's fine, because once we start the steep turn, as we start rolling past 30 degrees of bank, we're gonna start creating drag, induced drag, and that's gonna help us bleed off that airspeed and settle right in about 200 knots. Set 70%, let your speed build, and we're gonna disconnect the autopilot. And now you're hand flying. As we roll through 30 degrees of bank, we're gonna need some nose up pressure. So we'll add a little bit of nose up trim. As we continue rolling, we're gonna to roll to 45 degrees of bank. And on the Proline 21, there's two triangles, right? There's a sky pointer. As we bank to the left, the sky pointer is actually gonna to go to the right. So this makes a steep turn to the left a little bit easier for our scan technique. So as we start rolling to the left, the sky pointer is gonna start rolling to the right and we're gonna match up and fly 45 degrees of bank. The ACS standards for the ATP level or any type rating, even if you're a private pilot or a commercial pilot, you're held to 45 degrees bank, plus or minus 5 degrees. So as you roll and you've established your bank at 45 degrees and you've added your nose up trim, now we're going to fly and hold altitude. Now the scan technique here becomes kind of critical and you kind of have to forget everything you learned in primary instrument training. We're actually going to avoid looking at the attitude indicator completely. That's that's going to be kind of secondary in our scan. What we're going to focus on is the, the sky pointer and our VSI. So we're going to keep a scan between bank angle and VSI. Bank angle, VSI. We're going to keep bouncing our scan between those two. And it's really easy because we're going to use that VSI needle and that's going to let us know how much pitch we need to maintain altitude. And on the Proline 21, the green VSI needle, it's instantaneous. So it's giving us instant information. If we make a little slight adjustment in pitch, that ESI needle is going, to, is going to start moving instantaneously. And what's nice on the pro line is the altitude selector box is in a, a blue color. That green indicator is just, we're just going to keep it pointed right in that blue box. If the VSI starts going out of the blue box, that's, that's too much. So we need to make a fine tune pitch adjustment. And the nice thing about going left first is that bank angle is really close to that vertical speed needle. So it's really a scan just back and forth, back and forth. Now we know at some point we're going to have to continue our heading and we're going to have to roll out in the other direction. Well, using your peripheral scan, you're going to look down at your heading indicator and you're going to see, okay, kind of glance where you're at and occasionally glance at your airspeed tape and make sure you're on speed. You have plus or minus 10 knots. So make sure that you're not overspeeding or underspeeding. As long as your altitude is constant, your speed should remain constant as well because everything's kind of in equilibrium. As we're rolling through our heading, as you come to about 20 to 15 degrees prior to your desired rollout heading, it's time to start transitioning from one heading to the next. So as you glance down, say we're heading 360, and we're coming around to a heading about 020, that's when you wanna start your rollout. Now, slowly as you roll out, you're, you're gonna need forward pressure, right? So now we're gonna introduce a lot of lift, vertical component of lift as we roll through zero and back into the other direction. So as you roll, start applying forward pressure. Well, how much forward pressure do you need? It's simple, you look at your vertical speed needle. That's gonna tell you how much pressure you need. If the vertical speed needle is still high above the zero point, you're going to need forward pressure. If it's too low, you're going to need to relieve some of that forward pressure. So as you roll from one heading to the next, as you roll through wings level, and you start rolling in the opposite direction to the right, as you go through about 15 degrees, you're going to start to need that up pressure again. 
Well, we're already trimmed for that because we trimmed for that on the first turn. So you, you hold that trim and you start establish and now you do a keep a scan between bank angle, VSI, bank angle, VSI, bank angle, VSI. And you're just going to keep this scan and make fine tune adjustments with your vertical speed needle. And then again, as you're rolling out, once you're about 20 degrees prior, uh, heading 340 now, you're going to start applying forward pressure and release some of that nose down trim and wings level and get everything stabilized. At that point, you can put your hand down and put the autopilot on and then bring your power back to about 67% and your speed should be dialed in perfectly at about 200 knots. And that is how you accomplish a steep turn flawlessly in any type of the CJ series or any aircraft with a Proline 21 avionics suite.